In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build an e-commerce product recommendation system that uses the OpenAI embeddings model to search through a CSV file of products and pull back a series of relevant products. This is a different method to the Airtail approach I used in previous videos, where this approach is much more appropriate for hundreds of products that are stored in a CSV file that we create embeddings for. If you're not sure what the embeddings are, they're essentially a string of numbers that are attached to a question and we're able to take our question, embed that, and compare it to all of the data in the CSV, and then we can pull back a series of relevant products. By learning this skill, you're gonna be far ahead of anyone building on voice flow, and you're gonna be able to take on much more complex projects that come your way. To get started, I'm gonna show you a quick demo on voice flow here. So this is a API block that's connected to a Replit project. So we're gonna be using voice flow and Replit to build this. So Replit is a application that allows us to run Python scripts. So Python is a code language and we're using this to run the code uh, on the cloud and we can run this through an API request. So just to give you a quick demo on how this works, this is connected to a database of fragrances. Doesn't really matter, I'll just show you here. If I want a warm scent, I can hit generate and we're gonna get back three values of products that are in a CSV database that it thought were relevant to that bit of information that I just gave it. And we can see here, we've got a series of products that it found relevant to that. So I'm gonna go and break down exactly how that works. So jumping into Replit here, what we've got is a series of scripts and CSV files that we're using to create this and run all this data back into VoiceFlow. So what I've gone ahead and set up here is a main.py file. And so main.py is just sort of like a main Python file that's, that's used to initialize this um, server we've got going on. And what you'll see here is we've got an embedding uh, app.root so point of this is just when we run a request to this slash embedding which we just go over here we can see we've got slash search all so this is a different request we're making but we're essentially just putting in the url that this is hosted on so if i click new tab uh, in the web view so this is deployed so you can see here it's running so we just create the script we deploy it and this gets deployed on a URL on Replit, and we can essentially send requests to that URL um, and run a function within Python that will then run the code you've given it, pull back the data that it generates from that, and send it into your VoiceFlow project. So what I've got here is first I've got the embedding uh, script, and so the point of this embedding script is that if I were to run a request to the slash embedding, what this is going to do is it will take the a file called sense.csv it will take this and it will generate a series of embeddings for that so like i said earlier an embedding is a series of numbers that is tied to some information as the point of these numbers is so that the system can understand it in a different way and that when we send it a question it will also embed that question it's then going to take that question and compare it against all of the numbers and embeddings within the entire csv it's then going to find whatever is similar uh, to that and then it's going to pull that back as the series of relevant products and so what you'll see here is after we've uh, done this bit that initializes the sensor csv we're then just taking out the series of information that we want from it so if we want to embed multiple uh, fields from our csv file so in my csv file i've got the name of the product, I've got the description of the product, I've got um, just those for that, but we could have tags as well if we wanted. Um, we could have all this other information from the CSV that we all want to embed into one embedding. I'm taking all of that, creating the embedding, and then we're outputting that in combined sense.csv. So we're creating a new CSV file with all of the products with their embeddings. Then what we do is we can run our, what we've got set up here, the search all function. If I go to products.py, we've got a, if I scroll down a bit, we've got a search all function. This is what I'm running when I do the actual product search. It is going ahead and taking the questions or question.data uh, dot get question. If I go into this, we've got a bit of JSON here that just says question is equal to question in the variable. That's just what I'm sending through when I run the request. Count is three, so that's just how many products we want to get back. And then if we send that information over, we can capture it from the post request. So this Replit just allows us to capture the data. And then we're just loading the data set. So all sense.csv, that's just an, another file that contains all the products with the embeddings. So this 
may not pi sent it to combined sense, but I've just got multiple files in here. This is all sent, so it's the same, same file. This then takes it and then performs a search. So we're searching through that entire CSV, combining the embedding of the actual product that or the question we've given it. And then we're just finding a relevant and similar uh, result. And then what we've got here, results, results, name. So we're just gonna be pr presenting the actual name of the product. And that's the only field we wanna present. And then this will automatically output that through the, uh, once it's finished, it returns and then it will return it and then give it back to the to the user once that function is run. The reason I've got other functions here for search female and search male is just because this was a particular build that required uh, sort of filtering. We wanted to filter between males and female products. And so that's not a required thing to build out. All you would need is the search all function. Moving on from that function, we've got a products function. This is connected to uh, an Airtable database, which has got all of our products in it. So similar to some of the other builds I've done, we're still storing it in Airtable. And what we can do is take uh, the Airtable database using csvgetter.com. So I'll have that linked in the description. Uh, this enables us to download the CSV file of Airtable through an API call. So once we've downloaded our CSV getter CSV file, we can just run this and download it to our replit. Then once we've downloaded it, this will be able to be used to then embed the products. So what we've got in our embeddings uh, function, which I already showed you, is we're taking the file and then we're embedding it. So to make sure that that file that we're before the embedding is updated with our products, uh, that's all up to date and everything, we can run this automation to run uh, anytime we want. So we can use make.com to trigger this automation every week if we wanted, and we can have the products that are getting embedded uh, up to date as much as we can using a CSV getter uh, API call. Next to this function, we've got a clean text function. So this is just a function that cleans some text. This isn't 100% necessary. I just found that for some of the products that I was using, this was required to make it uh, work because it had some sort of white spaces and new line characters that were sort of uh, causing the formatting to not be quite right. But if you need it, that's essentially how that cleans the text. Um, otherwise, it's not 100% necessary. But if you can understand how this works and how we're able to essentially take a CSV file, use the OpenAI embeddings model to generate embeddings for each product in the CSV, then embed our question, and then search it up using a search function just like this in Python, and then compare it against all the products in the CSV, and then pull back a series of products that are relevant. We're able to build a pretty semi-complex system that's able to pull back a series of products based on the uh, embeddings relevance of the user query. So what I found in some client builds that combining this system with the sort of Airtable filtering approach is a very effective method, which is what I did in this build right here, where we've got a search male and search female. The reason we've done this is because in VoiceFlow, they can choose if they're male or female. And then based on that, we can run the search with two different CSV files of the male products and the female products. And we're able to get a just a much more accurate answer than searching the entire products. So you can create as many different CSV files and as many different search functions as you want to get an even more accurate answer. So this is gonna be a great system to combine with that to get very accurate product recommendations. If you're not a big code person, you can go ahead and take this code, which will be my free resource hub link in the description. Put this into chat GPT and just ask it how it actually works. I've also gone ahead and added some notes here so you can understand exactly what each sort of function is doing and what the purpose of it is. You can then just take these little bits of snippets, put into ChatGPT, ask it what it actually is doing, get the understanding of it, and then ultimately sort of build it from here. You can also just take mine and replace some of the variables to get that working. So I hope that was a helpful video in understanding how we can take these product recommendation systems and take this to the next level by using Replit, and we're able to search through thousands of products in a CSV file and use a similar filtering method to the Airtable approach, but now applying it to this where we can get a much more accurate and much more scalable system that we can deploy for clients or for your own business. If you are a business owner and you want a similar system built for your company, you can go ahead and book a call through my calendar link in the description.